Welcome to Yukanic today here on Yukanic we have a 2019 Chevy Trax and on the Chevy Trax we're going to go over how you can remove this exterior mirror to be able to replace it in case you need to replace it say the electrics have gone bad in it or the, the housing is broken and you want to replace it so to start with we have two little covers we need to remove there's one little little cover deal in here and then there is a cover here um, using a, a little pick tool or small screwdriver you just need to be able to pop that little cover off and then that way we have access to the size 7 millimeter that holds that on and right up in here is a another cover where the door handle goes so we get that pulled out and we have access to a 7 millimeter a uh, little bolt down here. All right, and then we have the seven millimeter bolt up here to undo. Okay, with those two bolts undone, now we should be able to work our way around the bottom perimeter of the door. Okay, so we've worked our way around. We've popped all the push clips that hold the, the door panel to the door itself. And now, being we have, there's the locking mechanism up here. You can lock it to help you to be able to get it off. And just note, you maybe want to leave a window open in case you close the door and you're going to want to be able to open that door. And so, now that we've got it there, now we'll be able to pull this out and be able to work the door up if this molding over the trim there. And so while we're out here, now we can free the handle. I'll undo the electric connectors to the window door switch. This one has a safety lock on it. So you need to pull that back first. To get it to be undone. And then this clip we just we're able to pop that clip up over and screw it off. And that's how you would get your inner door panel off. So we removed the inner door panel. And so that with that door panel removed, now we can gain access. We don't have to take off this whole plastic sh cover here. We just need to pull it back a little bit. So um, we just pull it back a little bit. And now we'll have access to the three um, nuts that hold it on. And here is the electric connector that goes into there. So we'll need to unconnect this. And this has a safety one that you got to pull back and then depress the black there. And then we can undo that. And then you're going to press this, uh, that grommet through. And that way that's the electric undone from the door panel component. And then you're going to see in here that we have our three, um, Nuts, they are a size 10. You're going to need a 10 with a uh, deep socket. Now, when you take the last one out, you're going to want to put your hand around the outside to hold the mirror so it doesn't fall off. Alright, so I have my hand around the outside, holding it so it didn't fall off, and now we'll be able to just work it out, running that electric. Through the hole there, and now we have removed the whole um, mirror housing, and that is the, this is where the mirror goes through. 
and attaches through there. So when you have your new one, you'll just go back in the reverse order. Being able to run electric wires through the hole there. And lining the, the bolts up in there. Being able to putting the nuts on there. Okay, so we got the three bolts or bolt slash nuts tightened up there. Now continue running the electric back out. Pushing the grommet through here. And then being able to connect the electric connection. And then you can put that little cover back on when you're done. If that's all the work that you're doing, is just replacing that mirror because it was broken. And we are going to um, put the door panel back on. We have done everything we need to inside there, being window regulator, window, door lock actuator. And so now we can proceed and put our interior door panel back on. First, we will grab our interior door panel and bring it up to the vehicle. And we'll need to hook up all the electric up here. Press them in until they click. And then we have our cable here for the door. Lock to open. You just push it into the, the slot there, and then pull it back, and then you push it this way, then you get the, the lock on there. Now, this is where you'll need to, um, we raise it up, and make sure that we line the, the door lock, button over it, put some angle on it, Kind of angle it out a little bit to be able to get this to you know, press down into the window frame. And now you can work the way around, lining up. Pushed in, working our way around it. We have our uh, number um, seven millimeter bolt to put in down here into the door handle, as well as our seven millimeter bolt to go up here. And then the little snap that little cover back in there. And that is how you would put your interior door panel back on after you've done all the work you need to inside. Thanks for watching. You can't agree you can be the mechanic.